maybe in recounting in the press. Uh, that is uh, Angela and Jake Wagner, the, the brother and the mother, respectively. And uh, that, I mean, that's the case to me. But I know going in, they must have all agreed nobody says a word. Well, yeah, I mean, at some point, it, you know, what, how that conversation starts again, you know, it's just bizarre, right? Um, so, yes, they had to have agreed on something and, and, and carried it out together. Um, it was interesting. I, I was trying to look back on my notes and find where um, the, I remember the defense um, ex, or the defendant's um, opening statement. Um, I was very impressed by um, the, the things that the defense attorney bullet pointed for the jury to listen to. It was a very short, concise um, uh, opening statement. And one of the things were about the credibility of these witnesses. But it's he's attacking the credibility of his mom and his baby brother. And so I wonder how far that goes. You know, um, I don't know that the, those credibility arguments work very well when you're talking about a family that apparently planned a crime together. Um, what is their motive to lie? Um, you know, yes, it's to get the death penalty off the table. I get it. But at the same time, it's a, it's a very bizarre story. And I think that the motives to lie um, other than the death penalty t being taken off the table, um, to point a finger at your son and say he he was part of this plan when he wasn't is a stretch. Um, I think, you know, even for a family that would come up with this bizarre um, and horrific um, solution to a problem. 